start shafting the fuck out of Gru and taking him out of the game. Uh, so Gru was not able to pursue, and that was enough to give uh, Lights Out the second chapter of the night. Irish picking up Red. He's gonna hop through the water here. And we gotta pick up Pig. He's gonna try to do it again. Only throw down health this time. He's gonna go strong against Gru. Gru's got the shaft. We'll pull him down. And only 50 armor, though. That's a low stack for Gru. Let's see if Lights Out's gonna be able to deal with it. Over on the left side, we've got Adrenaline moving pretty well. Oh, he had a lot of health, but Frost is just starting to pull it apart. And yes, he will get another rail kill. Let's take a look at his stats. 30% accuracy with that railgun, folks. His score doesn't do it justice, and he's died a whole fucking lot. But uh, he is making plays. He's making plays tonight, folks, in that center. We got a full-fledged push by Elite Mutations here. I think I just saw three or maybe four of the guys. The only guy I maybe not to join them was Gru. Uh, regen. The next regen picked up by Higgs. See if he can do a repeat of last run where he will be able to survive by the grace of this uh, regen. He's going to go grab himself an RL back, um, back off to the base. So he's not quite set up to attack yet. And he's just going to run through. Oh, he grabs um, the uh, red. Oh, it gets caught here. Can't play. Oh, let's see if he can get it. Yeah, he gets up. He's got one more guy to get through. And he's making another run. Great uh, straight jumping here. Oh, he gets pulled apart. We got to pick up by Irish. Irish will not be able to get out. And he's going to get a third cap. Wow. Very nice. Three to zero. That means uh, unless Elite Mutations does something really amazing here, we're going to be going into the extra rounds, folks. This is what we like to see. This is a tight CTF matchup. And Lights Out has gotten warmed up. And they are playing this thing tight. Rossi getting, getting another kill in the middle. He's only got three health. He's going to have to back off and uh, try to get himself a uh, 50. Nope. And he's going to go for death. All right. Keiko death. I choose cake. Rue. Still only one death of the night, but he's let uh, two caps get away from him. Uh, partially thanks to a little bit of regen loving for Higgs. We're going to hop over Adrenaline, providing a little bit of D. He's down 10 health, going to back off and see uh, whatever offense that uh, Ian was trying to put together. It's been squashed. And it looks like Lights Out defenders are a bit weak there on stack. Adrenaline facing off against Hall, going to put him down. And Irish will also go down to the Shafty Shaft Shaft of Adrenaline. And we've got Regen popping in a little bit. It's going to take a little while to get there. Uh, yeah, we're going to see Ad Adrenaline desperately trying to rock with um, Karasu. And he'll finally take him down, but he'll take himself with him. And we got to go take friends. All right, so it's going to be Higgs who's going to pick up that Regen. And he's going to go for Telefrag. It's not going to happen. And uh, we've got a Red Armor pickup. Higgs, of course, has moved back to um, the defensive position. It looks like um, he's really not going to be pushing offense until it's really safe to do so. Turning off against Gru. There we got a nice double up there. Great move. Higgs is going to be able to survive with a whole shitload of health. He's still got 34 armor. We're going to see yet another cap here, folks. Great teamwork by Lights Out. We saw that Gru got his back turned. Uh, we got uh, Adrenaline's teammate, um, or sorry, uh, Higgs' teammate popping out. Uh, from the water and just nailing Gru in the back, putting him down and giving uh, Higgs a chance to get out totally unscathed. Very nice work. Great teamwork. That is how you do it, folks. And then Paul trying to dodge rails as he backs off. And, uh, we got a return here. Higgs making sure that that flag doesn't get out. That was the closest we've seen to it. And here's 5 to nothing. 5 to nothing. So what was what a um, one-cap game in EM's favor on the last nap. Last map, not nap. Apparently I'm tired. Uh, is now a five cap game. It lights out in favor. And they show no signs of letting up in these remaining two minutes of this match. This is great. Quake Wars. Uh, Quake Wars, fuck me. Uh, wrong game. Quake live action. Yeah. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> Yeah, I'm seeing, uh, it looks like Lights Out has changed their makeup a little bit here. We're seeing, um, they're keeping three guys around the space, they're not really pushing out too much. And, uh, nice, nice work by Crave there. You see that he saw that, uh, the, the EM guy was already engaged, and so he went to go check to make sure that, uh, EM wasn't trying to do a sneaky sneaky on him, and was able to pull down the aggressor that was, uh, coming through the back entrance. Nice communication and nice work there by Lights Out. 
Swapping over to Rossi, who's gonna die in the middle of over to Higgs, waiting for Retan, the last return of the night, and he gets it. And he's able to pull down next to the hall, blows himself to hell. And there's the rocket stock the rocket, and Irish will be able to pull down the Higgs. Nice work there. And here's the touch. Uh, Irish trying to use that retan to so get him out of the base, but it's not gonna happen. Adrenaline returning that flag. Although this time we've got Karasu moving through the back. Oh, but there are some rockets. Adrenaline was ready for it. And uh, he drops a uh, plate on the ass of that flag carrier. Very nice work there. This time we've uh, seen Crave Josh able to pick up that flag. Let's see if I can get over to him in time before he taps thing. He takes out Karasu, moving to the center. Goes up against Gru, and Gru's gonna be able to return that flag in again. But Five's got away from him tonight. And uh, it looks like we're going into extra rounds in about 20 seconds, folks. Let's start taking a look at stats. We have ourselves Gru sitting pretty with 40% accuracy. That's not the uh, rocket launcher. Over to Hall, we've got 36 and 10 and Lightning Gun. Over to Grave, we've got 26 and LG. And Red back over to. Crossu uh, 30% with that real gun. And Iris 28% there with the uh, favorite weapon being lightning gun. Higgs 27%. Uh, Crave 26. Adrenaline 29. And Gibbs 22. So despite the uh, lower accuracies there for lights out, they're able to flip the switch on EM. And we're going into extra rounds right here, guys. Oh man, I loved that run by Higgs where he grabbed the uh, regen and then the two red armors and a oh yeah, just allowed him to uh, rocket jump like six or seven times in a row all the way home. That was fun to watch <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I kind I kind of got the feeling that uh, maybe uh, Lights Out had the slight advantage in in terms of offense and uh, EM had the slight advantage in terms of defense on that first map and it kind of kind of showed there when on this map where they're more free to uh, orchestrate the offense. Uh, looks like Lights Out has the slight competitive advantage. That being said though, I mean, Gru still only died like, uh, you know, I think it was under five times. There, so that, that's a pretty impressive feat uh, in, in and of itself. I think with a little bit more, maybe what he needs is a little bit more support if the carrier gets anywhere out of that base. But we did start to see, uh, this is what I love so much about uh, CTF. You, know, you, you get that primary defender to turn his head and focus on you, and then you get a teammate to pop out and flank him. And it is really uh, great teamwork there by Lights Out. Let's see if we can uh, catch a little bit more of it here in just a few minutes. We're going to watch Elite Mutation do yet another swap out. They're going to swap out. It looks like Paul's going to pop out. Yeah, on the first map, uh, EM was able to have good help defense in the midfield, and it seems like they didn't have uh, as good of a grasp on the midfield area on uh, this time around. And I, I think part of that was uh, the defense is very different on this map. Uh, sorry, the mid defense, I should say, is very different on this map compared to Siberia. Uh, in Ironworks, um, you know, there's only one rail to deal with. Um, the distance uh, in the mid area is so much shorter, and uh, and it's easier for the carrier to duck behind, uh, you know, a wall or a barrier or something like that, or you know, quickly switch levels on you, um, you know, and and uh, get out of sight of that mid range. We saw Karasu on the first map in Siberia. He was able to uh, pretty much, pretty much just um, you know, sit back and, and cherry pick with his rail, and uh, and work up uh, quite a nice. Uh, frag count there and and deny any sort of uh, push. I mean, I, I don't think we ever saw Lights Out approach the flag with uh, you know, 100 to 100 stack. And that was largely due to Karasu, and he just couldn't quite uh, manage the same feat on Iron Age, so. Three, Holy shit, balls! Two, we're going live! And... See, we're gonna sort of the same lineup of roles here. Gibbs looks like he's gonna wait on D. Higgs already making a strong push for that flag getting pulled down by Wasabi. And we have seen a roster change here. We've got Fear and Wasabi back in for the mutation. And 
that was the lineup that was able to chop the lights out on Siberia. Let's see if it'll come in handy for them tonight. We've got Giggs, MGing, and then Shottying Fear down to about 75 health. And he's been pulled apart by Gibbs' Shotty. But that has pushed lights out almost primarily.